Emotional fluidity. <clears throat> Emotional fluidity is the goal. Um, for a lot of people, for most people, they seek pleasure and avoid pain. And that's like trying to be on one side of the teeter-totter, but not the other. To always be up, but not down, or vice versa. Um, however you want to work the analogy. Emotional fluidity is what you were born with. Emotional fluidity is why a baby can cry one minute and laugh the next and see no contradiction. It's not about always being happy. It's not about always being thrilled, excited, whatever. Sounds like a nice idea. If it comes, it's fine. But really what it's about is being emotionally fluid. That's what self-healing is about. That is what being a healthy human is really about. Your emotions are powerful indicators of what's going on in your inner and outer environment. Your emotions give you information. Most people are in emotional resistance, emotional avoidance. There are a lot of other videos um, on my channel here where I talk about that. And that's really like, I only want to feel good, I never want to feel bad. And the thing is, that requires a belief in the bad feelings. One uh, little analogy I use is if you walked down the street and saw something disgusting, you saw vomit, feces, right, whatever, you probably wouldn't blind yourself so that you never see that again. You would not say, well, I'm going to stick something in my eye so they don't work anymore because I can never bear seeing something that disgusting again. No. Vision is a good thing. Now, emotions are kind of like vision on another level. They are a sense. They are like a sixth sense, seventh sense, whatever and they give you information. You walk into a room, something doesn't feel right. You're on alert. You might just get out of there, right? You walk into a bar, you walk into whatever. You drive into a new town. The energy's weird. You talk to somebody that's smiling at you, that's being very friendly, but you feel like something's off. That is based on emotional knowing. And when you're trying not to feel certain emotions, then you cut yourself off from that perception. Emotional fluidity is important in that way then because it's like the difference between having eyes and a head that can move around and see different things and if you had a head that was just only pointing forward the eyes were pointing forward you had no peripheral vision might better to have a wider range so again like i said babies are very emotionally fluid they can laugh they can cry they can go through a million different emotions in a very short period of time because of this emotional fluidity. Don't worry, you're not going to become a baby. Okay, that's not the point. But if you quit rejecting your emotions, especially the negative ones, because you're probably not spending a lot of time rejecting the positive ones, although there are exceptions, if you start really accepting all of your emotions, feeling all of your emotions, honoring all of your emotions, you open the door to intuition. 
And that's a good thing. So just ponder the idea of emotional fluidity. And if you like what I said about that, please like, subscribe, comment, um, and all of that, share. Um, I'd really appreciate it. And check out my website, andysway.com. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.